Hello and welcome to The Soundist Room. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this episode, I'm going to try to clarify and explain the concept of an LFO. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillation. It's a signal generator that works in the same manner that an oscillator does, only it's running at a low frequency, meaning a lower speed. An oscillator runs at a very much higher speed, producing audible sounds. If you ran an LFO at the same speed as an oscillator, you'd end up with something really garbled. Don't worry, you'll understand the concept in no time. Okay, right now I'm using Propellerhead's Thor, but it doesn't really matter what what kind of synthesizer you're using. The basics of an LFO is the same. Waveform generator running at low speeds used for controlling stuff inside a synthesizer. The easiest way of actually hearing what the LFO does is, in my opinion, using a square waveform. I'm gonna alternate the signal between the first oscillator and the second oscillator using the balance pot between these two oscillator inside the mixer inside Thor. So I'm gonna tell the LFO to turn the knob to the max value up here meaning it will only play oscillator 2 and down to the minimum value, meaning it will only play oscillator 1. So before we do that, let's just listen to the different oscillators. Now I've already turned the balance knob down to 1, so we'll only be able to hear oscillator 1 at the moment. It's loaded with a sine wave and it sounds like this. Now if I turn the balance knob up, fully we will only be able to hear oscillator 2 and the square wave that's loaded there routing window and I'm just gonna load the LFO one and send that to the mixer section and to the balance knob. I'm gonna turn up the strength of this signal to 100 meaning it will fully affect the balance knob inside the mixer. Now I'm gonna open up this section here and we can still see the balance knob in the mixer here but we won't actually be seeing it move. That's not how Thor works but we will be able to hear it. Square wave loaded, I'll turn up the rate a little bit and let's listen to it. Let's turn it down. So you can clearly hear the waveform affecting the balance knob in the mixer, making it go from max value to minimum value. Now I'm going to show you what happens when I turn the rate up to full. It's becoming garbled. Let's take a look at the rate here. The rate is only at 99.6 Hertz and it's not going higher than that. But the oscillator can go much, 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 much higher than that. Listen to this signal. This is 2.54 Hertz. Making it useful for controlling the balance knob here in the mixer. But if we play the analog oscillator at the same speed, then the signal would run at such a low rate it wouldn't really be audible. And if you looked at the speaker cone, you could actually see the cone move very slowly. That's basically the biggest difference between an oscillator and an LFO. Do experiment a lot with it. I hope <clears throat> this video helped you understand the concept of the LFO and why it works as it does. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney and me, Jakob Hack at soundtistroom.com wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your... Where is it? I'm, I can't find it. Go finger your surfaces and have a lot of fun doing it.